Yo, what's up, pirates? Justin Mueller again here. I'm very excited. We just got the hats made for Pips Ahoy. There it is. It's a baseball hat, and I'm currently getting one also made where instead of a clear patch, it's gonna have a gold patch. So the one with the clear patch, same color gray. I'm only doing gray for now, uh, but the one with the clear patch is gonna be for the free Telegram members. So I'm currently getting 100 hats. So about 50 or so hats will go out to free Telegram members. If you're not in my free Telegram, link is down below for that. I'm also gonna have a link down below for the VIP Telegram channel where I pump out daily analysis, daily trades. Uh, we just got into a 100 to 200 pip gold trade. We got into about an 80 to 100 pip GPP JPY sell. So members are making pretty good profits. They're really happy with it. Um, the other hat that I'm getting made, it's gonna have a gold patch and that's gonna be for VIP members. So I'm giving out 50 of those, uh, technically 10, but throughout the weeks, I'll give out more and more. Okay, so with that out of the way, I wanna go ahead and talk about what is the best time frame to trade based off divergence? Well, it just depends on what kind of trader are you? Are you a swing trader? Are you a scalper? Uh, what is your preference when it comes to trading? I just wanna get straight to the meat and potatoes because this is something that a lot of people ask me, what is the best time frame for trading divergence in Forex? Okay, so there is no best answer as a one size fits all. This all depends on exactly what kind of trader you are, just like I mentioned. First of all, I do not recommend you use it for scalping necessarily. If you are gonna use it for any kind of scalping, it's going to be for day trading or intraday trading. What I mean by that is, for example, let's say you wanna get into a trade and you want to be in it for maybe an hour or two and then get out. Even at that point, I wouldn't recommend it because at the end of the day, divergence is meant to help you spot reversals in the market. And usually when there's a reversal, it's gonna keep on going in that direction. So to answer your question in a different way, instead of telling you what time frame is best, I'm gonna tell you how I use the different time frames to determine how many pips I'm gonna catch per trade. So as an example, let's say I spot divergence on the one hour time frame for gold. What I'm going to do is I'm usually going to place a take profit anywhere between 50 to, 50 to 60 pips if I'm on the one hour time frame. Now that doesn't just apply to gold. I'm just using that as a random example. It could be any Forex pair or any commodity. I'm going to use about 50 pips as my average take profit if I'm spotting divergence, if I have a good setup on the one hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, if I spot divergence, if I have a good setup, if you're in my VIP Telegram channel, I do have a checklist for you to go over before getting into a trade. Does it hit this criteria? Does it hit this criteria? And the more criteria that it lines up with, the higher the confirmation for a great trade. Now, when it comes to the four hour time frame, I try to go for a minimum, a minimum of 100 pips. That's a really good uh, trade to hold for the entire day. So there are times where in the morning, I spot divergence from four hour time frame. It hits a trend line, all these you know confirmations line up. I place a buy or I place a sell depending on what the trade is. And by the end of the day, at night before I go to bed, maybe it hits my take profit. Sometimes it takes a few days, maybe it takes a few hours, just depends on how volatile the market is. But for the one hour time frame, I go for a minimum of 50 to 60 pips. And for the four hour time frame, I try to go for a minimum of 100 pips for a take profit. Now, when it comes to the daily time frame, now this is where you're really gonna get into big swing trades. We're talking about 200, maybe 300 pips, depending on what type of trading pair you are trading. In this case, if you're trading a pair that's very volatile, such as gold, GBP, JPY, GBP, USD, any pair that's very volatile in the market, you could easily catch 200 to 300 pips depending on what you spot. If it meets all the checkpoints in my, uh, in my checklist that I go over my VIP Telegram channel, if all the bullet points on the checklist line up, and if you spot a really good setup with divergence, you could easily catch 200, 300 pips if you spot divergence on the daily time frame. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If I spot divergence on the one hour time frame, and if I spot a good entry for a trade, I go for a minimum of 50 pips. For the four hour time frame, I go for a minimum of 100 pips. And for the daily time frame, I try to go for a minimum of 100 to 300 pips, depending on how good of a trade I spot, uh, I spotted and if there's good divergence there. So those right there are the best time frames to trade divergence on. I do not use the 30 minute, 15 minute. I do not use anything lower than the one hour time frame. The higher the time frame, the better the trades and the longer you can hold them for the better profits. So what video do you want me to make next? Leave a comment down below or go ahead and join my free Telegram channel. Again, I'm giving away 50 of these hats for free to free members on my Telegram and I'm also giving away 50 gold hats with the gold patch for VIP members in my VIP channel. I'm gonna have a link for VIP as well. I have a lot of people asking me where they can get that. All right, so that's it, pirates. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.